Hi, Grandma Mary here, and I am here with the amazing, the fantastic Anne Handley. I love this lady. First of all, I love her presentations. They're always good, always fun, and you can find useful nuggets. But, you know, uh, th what is there to say? Anne, thanks for coming on here. I, I'm overwhelmed. I, you know, I am too. I'm a little overclumped. <laughs> Slightly sweaty, too. But, you know, um, <laughs> I want to talk to you about your new book. Okay. Yeah, so it's called Everybody Writes. Yes, it's and called it, Everybody Writes. And what, what exact date does it come out? Exact date is uh, September 15th, which is Monday. Uh, there are 50 copies here that are no longer here, so there That's are sold. some floating out there. I know. It's sold like hotcakes. I could not get a copy. I, I tried, and I, I, I might have to wrestle someone for it. But, but and tell us, uh, what is the premise of Everybody Writes? Does everybody write? <laughs> everybody does write. Um, I wrote this book because I couldn't find what I wanted, which is a book that that functions as part of a writing guide geared toward marketers and not novelists or journalists or, or people who make their living from words specifically in other ways, um, but also something that talked about the guidelines to good publishing, so things that, that we can port over from the journalism world. And then it has some very tactical suggestions for things marketers write. So things like landing pages and email and ebooks and infographics and all the things that we as marketers are charged with writing. And uh, I guess the bigger concept here is that, you know, we all do write. It's like even if you don't identify yourself as a professional writer, writing is inherent in our jobs. Um, it's the backbone of everything happening here at Content Marketing World. Our words are our currency, our emissaries. That's who we are online. That's so great. I love that because, yeah, you, are you out there writing tweets and you're a writer? Bam! You, she asked that in her, in her session. Bam! You're a writer. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> All right? All right. But, like, I love the thought of, of this is going to be a Bible here for, for us marketing folks, but I love the thought of, of how to make writing less hard. I mean, mm. it feels hard sometimes. How do, what, what kind of advice do you have around that? Yeah, I mean that's true. A lot of people have a complicated relationship with writing. You know, it's it's they've been they've been told as uh, you know as as children, or they learned in high school somewhere that they're they're not a good writer, or they somehow have that message coded. Um, but I think that writing is something that everybody can learn, and I don't think it's as much art as it is a habit. Mm -hmm. And so I think you know uh, the ultimately the only way to be a better writer is just to write and to get educate yourself about some fundamental rules, um, l shed some of those terrible things that we learned in high school about, you know, five sentence paragraphs and whatnot, um, and really communicate with empathy and uh, pathological empathy, really, for the people we're trying to reach, our customers. Pathological empathy. Is that like crazy empathy? Is That's that like crazy? Is that crazy, That's empathy? crazy empathy? Get crazy out there and and get empathetic. And I love this. Stop that negative self-talk in your little brain, your little monkey brain going off on that you're not a good writer. I love that too because sometimes we're self-editing and we're saying, "Oh, this is a piece of crap," and it's really okay. You just have to practice, right? Yeah. And you know what? One of the best things that you can do as a writer. A lot of people have this sort of fear of the blank page. You know, they stop before they even start. So you'll appreciate this. And one of the things I talk about in the book is uh, starting a blog post or an email even or anything with Dear Mom. So sort of to sort of take some of that feeling like I don't know what to say out of it, just speak directly. So for you though, I would say, or, or actually anybody communicating with you, I say, start it, Dear Grandma. You know, Dear make it Grandma. To you. Come on, come on, make it to me. To give me your blog Look at how post. Right and accessible you are. I'm right? so accessible. A little scary, but so much yeah. so accessible. You know? Yeah, a little terrifying. I know. You know? Hey, I have that effect. But you know what? You just write it to me. Be be crazy empathetic. <laughs> 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 so now, um, I was going to ask you another question, but I got all excited. Um, so I want to hear more about your, your marketing profs, too. Where can people find, or where can people get the book, first of all? I can't Let's stop looking at you. I, I just want to say that. <laughs> I, I haven't been this I'm close. I'm sexy, I aren't I? I'm a little sexy. I'm a little sweaty now, too. <laughs> <laughs> so, wait, was it question? Where, where can people get the book, first of all? Let's oh, talk about that. Uh, go to everybodywrites.com. Uh, you can go to the bookseller of your choice, uh, Amazon, Barnes & Noble, or your favorite indie bookseller, up to you. Um, so pretty much wherever books are sold. That's fantastic. And you got to check out Ansight Marketing Profs. 
buttloads of information there. I'm just saying that. It's just a lot of information. You can't even imagine it. Great stuff. They have amazing content, all kinds of courses you can take, right. all kinds of uh, uh, handy guides, all kinds of good stuff. So get yourself over there too. And uh, thanks, Ann. I love you. Thank you. <laughs> Talk to you next time. That was great.